Welcome back to the Dirt Kitchen guys. We've got a pretty cool episode lined up this time round. Our first big bore four stroke, the 2020 Husky FE 501. Format stays the same. We've got the Pirelli Scorpion MX32 tires front and rear. Other than that, she's just a bog stock street legal enduro bike. My kind of bike. And I'm feeling like I might have even cracked my personal best on the track. We'll see what the GoPro says. But let's get down to business. Our next special guest is charging through the Australian off-road enduro and desert racing community like a steam train. He's represented Australia five times at the International Six Day Enduro, two of which he's won the E3 class championship. He's a former winner of the Hadar Desert Race and this year has wrapped up his second overall Australian off-road championship. And I tell you what, I can't wait to see Daniel Sanders blow this track apart. Chucky, welcome to the farm, mate. What do you reckon? Yeah, she's unreal. Uh, primo conditions. Super stoked to be here and I uh, can't wait to rip the track. I suspect you're going to lay down a pretty good time, mate. And when you do, I think we might even treat you to a few laps of Boost Town. What do you reckon? Oh, that's what I'm here for. I'm excited <laughs> to set the lap and then uh, get into Boost Town and see how high we can send it. this thing flat you want Actually in the flash see the level he's operating at now. Wow, it's world class, truly world class. the guts out of that thing. Just limit on the 501, she's good fun. <laughs> Still hard work though, but... In what sense? Oh, you just off the bike or, or dealing with the track? Just a lot of pressure and behind me getting this fastest time, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's impressive to see what you require. Like these things out of the crate are fast. Yeah. They're seriously fast dirt bikes, but it was like <laughs> it was clearly wasn't enough. Swinging off the back, limiter everywhere, the pace into corners, impressive. What yeah. do you think of the stocker? Yeah, it's good. Um, sort of first decent ride on the on the new 20, so unreal. Um, good trail bike and even on this fast... Um, <laughs> A good <laughs> trail bike. You absolutely <laughs> had it flat yeah. over this jump. <laughs> yeah, no, it, like suspension, like if you can push it, you know, world class riders can push it like this standard, it's, you know, yeah. it's more than enough for the average punter and enough power, I think, for yeah, them. exactly. It's more, you know, as a standard street legal machine, it's far more race bike than the most people that are buying it are ever going to use isn't it yeah for sure look the last time i had really anything to do with a big bore husky was i rode the four day on a 510 te 510 back then and it was a clunky jackhammer compared <laughs> to this thing how electric smooth are they off the bottom but it just builds into this it's like two different engines in yeah. the one bike isn't it yeah you do with the especially with the map switch they have on them standard now it's unreal you can go from aggressive and then the tame one and then you can put traction control on too so you can take this bike to any track 
sand, hard pack, yep. wet, slippery stuff. It can conquer everything. What if, you know, heaven forbid, your race bike got stolen at a round and they just threw you a stocker? How would you feel going into an ARC round on this bike? No, not too bad. Even if I had the race bike here, it wouldn't, it'd be maybe two seconds quicker, yeah. I reckon. Wow. Not much. We'll just put some stickers and do the clickers and we'll be alright. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah, that was a roost mate, Look, hang on, let's help you out there a bit. Yeah, you found it to me. <laughs> you know what, I think the dust worked in my favour. Oh yeah it did. I got further ahead than I thought I would but fuck, you came past like I wasn't even on the truck. <laughs> that was awesome, good work. Welcome to Boost Town, Chucky. This is what everyone raves about mate. I know you don't need to be told what's going on here, you'll be all over it. But one thing I will say is, you do have to be representing Australia at the sixth day in a couple of weeks, so <laughs> keep it clean. Point me the lines and give me some tips, mate. Start over there. wondering what all the fuss was about mate walk in the park for you yeah just another day in the office mate i like the way you just 
cruising around, nailed everything perfect, and then applied speed to it all. Yeah, you just got to adapt to it. And 501 was always going to be a good bike for you to just show up and ride around here. How did you feel on it to compared to something you would race? Yeah, I, I found it pretty good. They're real light, the four strokes these days, especially this 501. You can throw it around the, this track if you're strong enough. Uh, it's all skill level on this track as well. You got to. Mm. I've got enduro cross track at home. I've been training on for years, so yeah. it's, you can't just get Joe Blow off the street onto this track and no. and adapt well. But yeah, the bike, yeah, it works unreal for stand suspension. I was surprised. I haven't really rode extreme stuff on it like this, and you're just pushing into logs and yeah. into all the rocks and that, and it wasn't bad at all. Even here off this double bit, you can see you're over jumping one, giving yourself no space or run up. You're pretty much landing and preload cased into the next. <laughs> and all on a stock bike, it really is a credit to the overall function of an enduro bike, eh? Hey? Mm. Here we go. Oh, far out. Pressure's on here. Got a chicken run, mate. Do you feel like you've been able to push to a whole new level of riding by just taking your fitness level to basically higher than it's ever been? Well, you see all the, you know, Carmichael's and Reed and just Bubba Stewart and that, they'd always train, you know, flat out off the bike. And yeah. I just thought, well, that's what they're doing and they're on top, so. In our sport, we got to do the same, so yeah. the same thing. So. Always worked hard off the bike, either footy training, playing basketball, and then just doing my own thing as well, just running, cycling, and all that now, it just pays off. When you're pushing for those seconds, like over, say, an off-road sprint lap, where you know, you're battling with Milner, and you're fighting over one or two seconds, or three seconds, or half a second, mm. it can just come down to perfecting every corner, and when you, you get tired, you get sloppy, don't you? Yeah, that's for sure. At least it's just, it's that close racing these days and we're pushing the limits of that no one else has done in Australia here and, and in the world as well now. So it's definitely pays off just putting those little one percenters in. Yeah. You know, it's not time on the bike, but it just helps that you strengthen those little sprint scenarios or you cross country pushing that last hour. Ready for barbecue? Are you ready for the barbecue? Rosie pig. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Barbecued pig it is tonight, mate, and you are in charge of the apple sauce. Yeah, so grew up uh, on an apple farm. We had got a hundred acres in the Yarra Valley in Melbourne, so spent me uh childhood slaving around for my uh, dad and uncles and grandfather around there doing all the chores. Not much, because uh, <laughs> I was mainly riding a dirt bike, but uh, yeah, still have a lot of fun around the farm, helping out whenever I can, and and uh, eating some apples, making apple pies, apple sauce, just, you know, all the rest, staying it, out of trouble. It sounds like you still absolutely love apples, you're not <laughs> sick of them in any way. Nah, not yet, not yet. still uh, smash a few of me day, so... Big boar is on fire. Oh, I'm just gonna go. Big super I'm chunk. Not, I'm not mucking it. No. Do we even need salad or are we good? Hey, Who hey. needs salad when you've got a super pig hey, 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 and apple hey. sauce? This is the salad, yeah. the apple sauce. I'm just gonna kick things off at the 2012 four day, which was quite a significant time for two things. One, that was me. Uh, with yeah. the CR. Yeah, right. The original did. That's it. It's three weeks prior to the event, bought that CR out of the paper. <laughs> Fast forward four days. It wasn't so much that you'd podiumed in E3 uh, um, among Toby Price and Stefan Merriman. But yeah. check out the hairdo. Yeah, yeah. It must have had a pretty decent helmet to fit all that in. Yeah, I know. It was uh, yeah, year 12, studying. Well, not really studying, but... <laughs> You're still in school. You probably didn't really have too much of a grand vision other than just making it to the next race. Yeah. Did you? 
back then it was, it was hard. You just had to keep driving and pushing yourself forward and moving yourself away from, you know, your mates and socialising and that. Just mm. dedicate your life to to race dirt bikes and achieve the like the result in championships and stuff I've won. So missing parties yeah, and what everyone's doing, all, all yeah. that mad stuff. So yeah. doing that was was sort of tough, but that's all I wanted to do and. And I wanted to prove um, myself to a lot of people and, and prove a lot of people wrong. Look at that. Time to eat some husky pie. Oh, yeah. I'll get some plates. Look at that. Magic. Oh, dude, you're going slow. <laughs> this isn't slow, though. Come on, mate. Twice your age, I can deal with that. You know what though, I found I can get round corners pretty good on it, for a big bike, it turns well. Don't right. you think? I mean, this thing is made for this track. It is, it's a big ball track. Yeah. Look at that. She's just feeding the pony. Right. What's he done? What's he done? Has he got, have he, has he cracked his record? It's got a fell pretty good. Oh, oh, yes. Finally. <laughs> hey, you know what that is? You beat Gravo. That is. <laughs> far out. You're not the slowest on the track anymore. <laughs> Mate, if Gravo was here on a big bore in these conditions, he'd uh, be up in three be, minutes. He's now where he's walking. But until he comes back, I'm claiming it. He's on the bottom noise. Alright, game on. You're on. See what you got. Lay it flat. Yeah. <laughs> How good does that look? A little weird. Yeah. Your entry <laughs> speed into the corners is huge. The angles that you're getting cranked over. Like you've got training wheels on the back. <laughs> oh, destroyed that. Rightio, yeah. here we go. What have we done? Here we go. <laughs> 243, mate. 243. You've just put 11 uh, seconds on Hogan. You know, it's pretty good for just going straight out of the box. Yeah. Like 10 minutes practice, say on it, and yeah. then go throw it in a heater. You did. A heater, that is a heater. Holy <laughs> shit. Bang. Look at that. Championship winning jersey, 2019. Yeah. Good to have you here, mate. Not, not, awesome. only, not only that, but at the moment, the fastest time around the... The, the world soundtrack. record in yeah. the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to make sure you get on, hit subscribe on A Reeman 1. And uh, comment below what you thought of the what you thought of the show, and uh, I'd love to come back. So maybe write something down on what bike you'd like to see me uh, swing off the track on, and uh, maybe a two-stroke. So I'm pretty keen on that. Go and razz them up and, and see what uh, what we can do.